It's a pleasure to introduce as our next guest speaker, Representative Lynn Watson. All right. Thank you. I appreciate the invitation to be with you. I uh, think it's worth noting uh, where we're standing here so that we can have our free speech, the right to assemble and honor our veterans who have served our nation and who have uh, kept us a great free nation. I, I'm glad that we can all agree that that's uh, something we should appreciate, be thankful to God for. Uh, I, I appreciate the invitation. I was a little surprised uh, upon receiving it. Uh, you're certainly not going to hear from me a message that probably you like, but I appreciate your, uh, unlike some groups, uh, willingness to listen to maybe uh, all voices on, on the issues. Um, I, I think one of America's great problems is that we forgot who is most responsible for taking care of ourselves, and that is we ourselves. Um, you know, you look at foreclosures, you look at a lot of problems in this, our society, and some people expect government to protect us from ourselves, but I would say the sooner we get back to individuals taking responsibility for their own actions, for making good decisions about their finances, uh, working hard, be productive citizens, uh, that, that the better off we're all gonna be. I uh, wanna address a little bit uh, uh, the, uh, one of the uh, voices I hear from, from these groups around the country, uh, that is what I think is the uh, misunderstanding would probably be the nicest way I could say it of, of, of this, uh, that the rich, I guess, and I don't know who you define as rich, but the, that rich people don't pay taxes. Uh, certainly, uh, there are some companies, uh, there's all kinds of goofy tax codes in the federal law that certainly encourage some people, depending on their investments and things, to uh, pay less taxes. Sometimes large corporations, particularly after Obama got done, pay no taxes because of these goofy uh, credits for energy and things like that. Uh, but by and large, the vast majority of Americans who most of us probably consider wealthy uh, pay a huge uh, part of their income. In my case, I guess in my own life, I consider myself blessed and, and wealthy. Uh, you know, I pay over 40% of all my wealth to the government, whether it's local, state, or federal. Uh, I don't want you to have any more of my wealth. I think <laughs> I can spend my wealth better than government can spend it. Um, you know, one of the, the, the huge frightening things, I think one of the main reasons that so many small businesses in particular, because that's my background, I own a number of small businesses here, Northwest Ohio, Lima, Finley, Napoleon, um, with, with partners, and uh, I, I think a lot of us are probably similar to my partners and I, in that we are frankly scared to death of this federal deficit that has been created, started to some degree with President Bush late in his term, and certainly uh, multiplied greatly with this current president and, and Congress, uh, at least up to a couple years ago. Uh, these federal deficits, I, I think, are the number one reason uh, for the fear out there among so many people who normally would be creating jobs right now, uh, you know, entrepreneurs and others from, from really um, having a very optimistic view about our country and then being a little bit afraid of, of making investments. I know a lot of people, in fact, I talked to a professional investment counselor this week, uh, very successful, been in it for uh, many, many decades. Uh, he said he's never seen so many families sitting on wealth. Uh, the, the people really are afraid to, to, to part with their wealth, make investment, and until we get a more stable environment in this nation, um, we're going to see a lack of job creation in, in large part because I think so many Americans are afraid of our future. Uh, I want to encourage all of you, um, I, I certainly admire those who, who want to spend their time out here with your signs and things, and I appreciate again being invited. Uh, but I always want to encourage every American that our, our forefathers created a great system of checks and balances in this country. And if Americans uh, participate in the political process, are involved in it, our country is going to be better off. Whether you and I agree on what we believe in politically, it is absolutely essential that we do not give up on our political process 
Uh, so I just want to encourage you and anyone else who may be listening to uh, participate in that process to elect people that you think will be good representatives from Washington to home. Uh, obviously, the election is coming up soon here. Uh, so with that, I, I again, I appreciate being invited and you being willing to hear maybe a, a little different voice from what uh, some of you stand for. Uh, but, but again, I, I hope that uh, all of us to some degree can agree that uh, the, the greatest protection we have from anything or anybody to a large degree is ourselves, to make wise decisions, to be well prepared for our future. Uh, you know, I hear from uh, employers on a regular basis here in Northwest Ohio that uh, they, they can't find enough of certain type of skilled people to come to work for them. And so I, I do believe that there are a lot of opportunities out there that aren't being uh, fulfilled by individuals, you know, maybe lack of training or whatever. Uh, we're blessed here in Northwest Ohio to have uh, tremendous educational opportunities from right here at Home Defiance College. Uh, to Northwest State Community College, to uh, online education. And, and I think it's important that the, the, the youth in particular, I'm, I'm 56, I got to grow up in a world where I could kind of claw my way through life just working hard. I never went to college or anything. Um, but certainly many, many jobs in the future require a good solid education beyond high school along with some hard work and innovation. So, um, you know, I hope you understand how blessed we are here in near home with great educational opportunities for further education. And I hope that the young people particularly um, understand that, that, that probably unlike my generation, to have a good job in the future, you're probably going to have to have something more than a high school education, at least for a lot of people. So, uh, again, thank you. I appreciate the invitation and I uh, hope you all have a great afternoon.